Welcome to BioRad's Blackboard Training. This is a series of short, informal tutorials brought to you by industry experts. Today we'll cover Yoden charts. Yoden charts were developed in the 1950s by Dr. William Yoden. The chart allows the user to compare two levels of controls and can help differentiate between systematic and random error. The chart can compare level 1 and 2, level 1 and 3, or level 2 and 3. The chart can be built to compare results to the means and standard deviations of a consensus group, laboratory itself, or another instrument. Let's start by looking at the components that make up a Yoden chart. The vertical axis represents the mean and standard deviations of one of the control levels in the comparison group. The horizontal axis represents the mean and standard deviations of the other control level of the comparison group. The vertical line in the middle of the chart represents the mean for the first level. The horizontal line in the middle of the chart represents the mean for the second level. The diagonal line is used to help identify problems with linearity and distinguishing between random and systematic error. Data points are plotted on the graph and will fall into one of three regions. The white square will display points that are within one standard deviation of the mean for both levels. The light gray square will display points that are between one and two standard deviations from the mean for both levels. The dark gray square will display points that are between two and three standard deviations from the mean for both levels. Your goal is to be as close to the middle of the chart as possible. Think of the center as a bullseye of a target. The more tightly points are clustered around the bullseye, the better the precision is for each control. If a point does not fall near the middle, notice where it does fall. Plots that have the majority of the points scattered all over rather than clustered around the middle may indicate that there's a problem with the precision of the testing system. Corrective action may need to be taken. We encourage you to take a look at our video that covers precision and accuracy if you need more information. Results can be considered linear when the points are on or near the angle line. Linear means that both levels are responding to testing in the same direction. When the points on the chart are along the angle line, but too high or too low, recalibration of the instrument might be necessary. When the majority of the points are within the upper left or lower right quadrant of the chart, then problems with linearity may exist. Points that are near the angle line and within one or two standard deviation squares show acceptable results. Points that lie near the angled line but are outside the two standard deviation square indicate systematic error. Points that lie far from the angled line indicate random error. As you can see, Yoden charts are quite helpful. We encourage you to explore our other Blackboard videos that cover charts, including Levy Jennings and Yunt charts. For all of your QC needs, visit www.qcnet.com.